Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of this Blu-ray um, update for the month of January, and um, I got these next two at Movie Stop. I traded in some shit I didn't really want, but um, let's just get to it. Uh, uh, the first one is a movie that's nominated for Best Picture, and I know everybody was loving this movie, and um, everybody's saying it's amazing, and it's The Hurt Locker. Um, uh, I like this movie. Um, I didn't. I'm not in love with it. Uh, I, I thought it was good. Um, I don't know. With for me, uh, it's all about me being emotion emotionally attached to some of these characters. And honestly, I really wasn't. Like I didn't really care for um, the characters in this. But um, I mean, I, I thought the main guy was. I thought he was kind of a badass in this movie. But I mean, I don't know. It's just it, it was it was pretty good. It was definitely one of the better modern war movies that I've seen in a while. I mean, I, I kind of like The Kingdom a little bit better. I thought I thought that one was uh, more intense, but um, I, I think this was good. Um, I had some really cool scenes. I really dug that beginning scene when um, the bomb goes off. I thought it looked really cool. Um, it looked good. Not too many features, um, but uh, I thought the, the scenes when they're actually like in the midst of like um, searching for the bombs or in battle, I thought those were really good scenes. But then when they weren't on the on the when they weren't in battle and stuff, I just kind of I was a little bored. But but it it was definitely really good. Um, so I don't need to tell you to pick it up. Um, so Hurt Locker. This next one, my girlfriend really wanted to see, and I and I kind of wanted to see it too. I thought I thought it looked kind of cute, and. Um, it's Postgrad, um, starring Alex Alexis Bledel from the Gilmore Girls and from the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I thought this was I thought this was pretty good. Um, it's a good chick flick. Um, I I don't know. I really like Alexis Bledel. I think she's like she has this really um, I don't know how how to describe it, but she has this like aura some kind of magic like when you watch her on the screen you can't help but like her um I, I couldn't possibly see her playing a villain in any type of or a bitch in any type of movie just because she just oozes like sweetness when like when you watch her so it's just really good it had a pretty good um um supporting cast uh zach guilford from friday night lights um jane lynch who seems to be like in every movie nowadays it's like i see her popping up everywhere and um, Carol Burnett and Michael Keaton and this is like the first time I've seen Michael Keaton anything in like the past like five years or so but um, it was definitely pretty cool um, I, I don't know if I would recommend going out and buy this on Blu-ray I, I mean I wouldn't do that but um, you know rent it on Blu-ray I'm sure it's it's you, you might like it it's a, it's a cool movie it's you know it's it's expected it's it's basically you know you, what you see is what you get with this movie so and there's never really anything wrong with that in my opinion so this next one um i talked about in one of my other videos one of my q and um question of the week videos and it's michael jackson's this is it um i'm a huge 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 fan of michael jackson so when this came out i was really really wanting to see this um it's really really good it, it's it's i didn't know what to expect because i never saw in the theater and I know it was a documentary, but I was wondering to myself, is it like more of a documentary and not really much so of a concert? Because I know it's, it was considered like a concert documentary and it's like, what? What, what is that? But um, um, I'm happy to say that it was a lot. It was mostly concert. It was like, it was most like they like the movie is the length of the concert, how it would be in real life. And there's, I believe, like 16 tracks, whatever. And with each track like they'll start off talking about something like or the song will start and you see him rehearsing it how it would be like in two it's like two two three different days worth of like material like kind of condensed into one song and you see him performing but like in the middle you see them like starting to talk about like um what they were going to do with that performance like that wasn't done yet for the concert and it would go back and forth but mostly it was like 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 um performance footage and then you'd see something or it was it was mostly it that's how it is. It's it's weird to describe, but um, the only disappointment is um, there was a concert that he did in like Budapest, like 
probably almost 20 years ago, and um, and it had pretty much it was the pretty much the same set list, pretty much him doing the same stuff in the same order of the songs. I mean, they took out three of the songs that were on that concert, and they added three more for this one. But for the most part, some of the stuff was like the same. For for example, when he does beat it. He, d he gets on this little crane thing that he that goes around the entire venue, and he did that for the last concert. So it was a little disappointing on that end, but um, the dude still had it, man. He's he was great. It's such a shame that he's gone because this concert would have made billions and billions of dollars. Because I, I mean, I don't know about billions, but he was gonna do like 50, 60 dates, and it was just so over the top and so awesome. It's just it's just it's, it's sad to see, you know, when you watch him because I mean. He was so vibrant and full of energy, and then, you know, just to see him die, you know, out of nowhere just really, really sucks. But the picture quality was great, the music is great, of course, and I'm happy to say that he pretty much sang almost everything, because you know sometimes when people perform, it's a lot of lip sync, but he, I mean, there was maybe one or two songs that you could kind of tell he was probably lip syncing, but for the most part, it was all him singing, and that, that was really great, so... Definitely, definitely check this out. It's, it's a really cool, really cool concert. It's a really, it's it's pretty much a must-have, you know. So it's really cool. And I got it at Target, and this one comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray version of the movie. So that's, that's pretty cool. And finally, is a movie I saw in the theaters, and I, I really enjoyed it. And I had a, I had a coupon for this that was like 10 bucks off, so I got this for like 14 bucks. And um, haven't gotten to watch it yet, and it's surrogates. I know a lot of people shit on this movie, and I mean, I, you know, it's 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 a really cool sci-fi movie, and you know, I mean, sure, you could shit on every movie that's not a an Oscar-nominated movie, and that's fine. But I mean, I I just I like movies to be entertained, and this definitely entertained me. Um, it's like a futuristic movie. It's kind of like like Avatar, how it is now. Because I even though I haven't seen Avatar, I know it's like these people that are contr that like they like they go under and they're like like he's he's pretending to be like one of the blue monster avatar guys it's kind of the same thing here it's kind of like a video game where um, they build like these machines that like you go under and you're in this whole like another world but um you're like a younger version of yourself it's it's like you're it's like you create like in PlayStation Home like you play as this guy and you walk around this little community area it's kind of the same thing um, it's really cool. I, I thought it looked really, really cool. It's kind of, kind of has a iRobot. Um, I know they're calling it like, kind of like iRobot meets Matrix. I, I wouldn't really put it Matrix in there, but it kind of had like a whole iRobot feel to it. It, it was really, really, really cool. I really dug it. Um, of course, it might not be for you, but I, I enjoyed it. So uh, I can't really tell you about the picture quality because I've not yet gotten to it, but I'm sure it looks good because it's, it's a Disney-owned studio. So. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I, didn't, I know I didn't have much in January. I didn't buy as much, even though you're probably thinking to yourself, damn, that, that's a lot. I mean, for me, um, you know, I'm trying not to buy as many, even though um, right now I've, I've already bought a lot for the month of February, so that's that's crazy. But um, this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you soon. Listen to fine now, listen to fine now, listen to